Young people have taken music that they play and they've gone global with it. They've gone into fintech, you can see them going global. They've gone into Nollywood, they've gone global. They have the intelligence. If they take that same intelligence and understand the political process and participate in the political process, they will take over the political process of this country. So the issue is, forget PVC first, target being delegates of these major parties. The way to become a delegate is not hard. Go for the world meetings diligently. They will put those world meetings at times where they know you will not want to come, but show up. When you get there, arrange for basic things. If you have, uh, give them chairs to sit, if they are sitting on the floor, help their children. If they are in hospital, they help organize. They will begin to call you leader. Once they begin to call you leader, it's either the people on top will send for you to say, young man, young lady, what position do you want? All right? Because they are trying to make sure that they hold their power. Get involved at that level. Now, if you cannot do that and say, and run for political office and say, I go through it, the second way to access political influence, I asked a ranking American politician who is an elderly man. I said, why are you going about what you are doing this way? He's a Christian. Now, I don't agree personally with the way the church went about um, pushing uh, President Trump, and I don't agree with that. I felt they, they stepped overboard. But as a principle, I'm talking about a principle now, he said, we got President Carter elected. He did not respond to us. He said, we rallied around President George Bush. We got him elected. He said he did not respond to us. He said that we discovered something about power. Whether you get the person on top or not is not what counts. It is who that person talks to last before he goes to sleep. And who, he, when he wakes up, he talks to. So we strategically now said, we will go and point our people in those offices. I'm telling you today, if I call a particular governor, when I told somebody this, he said, this, my friend, was the one who advised this governor, who is a governor today. He wanted to run for something else. That's why he's, if I call the governor, all of you know him, he's a governor. He said he's a young person who is seemingly insignificant that influenced him into getting into that decision. There are many places of influence you can get into Great. without you doing elective positions. Thank you. And the Bible says, wherever the soles of your feet touch is yours. If you have to enter as a servant, enter. Once your feet has touched the office, you can begin to influence the office. To go and start saying that you are running on some party platform that doesn't have... have look, there's a young man. He spoke at the platform. The minute he got down, a major political party called him and said, without primaries, we give you the House of Assembly seats in this area. Because he had run the last time, he didn't make it. He said, from what you said, we give it to him. A new party gave him governorship. I told him, chief, this governor you are taking, these people can't even put 10 billboards in Lagos. You won't get it. He said, no, 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 I want to be governor. I want to be governor. I want to be governor. There wasn't one billboard. The House of Assembly seat was won by that party. He will have been in the House of Assembly. But because of this... You know, I want to be, you know, you find people who have never done anything contesting Senate, House of Rep. I can start a party tomorrow and call it Academic Green Party, and then I'm the gubernatorial candidate, right? But if you looked at the last election, there were 76 parties, there were almost 74 presidential candidates, but only 2%, two, if you removed APC and PDP for House of Rep and Senate, they only fielded less than 2% of the candidates. How do you want to run presidency without House of Rep, without Senate, without governor? Without, it means that it's, what you are just saying is it's not realistic. So let's study the political system. Let's understand what democracy is. Let's know where, how to enter into power. Let's understand it. It is not difficult, but you need to understand it. If you are waiting for May 29, which is why young people won't go and vote. Because the reason is, the candidates don't stimulate them. 
They make the voting process cumbersome. You must be ready to stand in the sun. You must be ready. And once they see that kind of determination, then they understand that they will change. This change is not far. I repeat, this change is not difficult. It is not far. But the system has to be understood and the people must be able to enter into that system at the place at which they can actually begin to influence things.